nobody outworks me. All right, you guys, we are back here at Fitness Systems here in Lincoln, California. I have my beautiful wife, Stacy, here with me. We have our client, Cynthia Beltran. She came into town from Southern California. She has been on a streak of competitions the last nine months, making her way to the national stage a few weeks ago in Las Vegas, placing top five, falling short of a pro card. So she is out here two weeks out from her next national tip in Pittsburgh. And we're gonna be making some improvements on her form and technique. And we're gonna be polishing on some things that help really bring in that package the judges are wanting to hopefully earn her position as an IFB pro here in a two short weeks. Today we'll be training back and hamstrings and we're gonna be focusing a lot on form and technique. Back is one of those muscles that I feel a lot of people aren't training correctly, probably because you can't see it when we're training it. So pay attention to that. We're making small adjustments to their training to really help bring out and emphasize their physique. If you guys want that extra pump, a little extra citrulline on top. This is raw, which means it's very, very sour. I'm gonna try not to make a face. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's raw, is it? It's not supposed to taste good. This stuff tastes good though. This is flavor. This is Sydney Sunset. I don't know if you guys ever tasted Sydney Sunset, but Sydney Sunset tastes delicious. And Cynthia, she is one of the hardest workers I've ever trained in my life. Uh, I've been working with her for almost three years, and she is definitely earned my respect in, in all aspects when it comes to her work ethic. You guys all know how hard competition prep is. You're depleted, you're in a calorie deficit, you're tired. The last thing you want to do after training is going out and doing more physical activity. This girl, four weeks out from one of her competitions this year, she went to Spain and did this, what was it, like a military survival? Endurance. It was like an endurance, a 48 hour race, 48 hours straight in Spain. And she raced through these mountains, she went through crazy rivers. Then she got like electrocuted and stuff like that. Like, Something, and then it's, she said it was 120 degrees in Spain. She said it was 120 degrees. Four weeks out on diet in a calorie deficit, she went and did this, came back, and she won her show four weeks later. All right, guys, my client and friend, Cynthia. She'll be getting after with us today, so. Keep this down and back engaged right there at the top. Stay engaged, don't let your shoulders come up at the top of motion. A lot of people let their shoulders elevate to their ears when they come up. That's gonna disengage your lats. It's gonna disengage your lower trap rhomboids. You wanna keep that back tense and active. So as you're fully extended at the elbows, you're not gonna come up. You're gonna keep those shoulders down and back. That back can engage and tight and squeeze through. You stretch up and squeeze down. Core engaged, chest up. Get right down on the chest. We're not gonna pull those elbows behind you. We want them down in front. Up. Up. I'm gonna be jumping into some seated cable row right now. We're gonna go close grip. Do one more upset, three working sets. Make sure you're extending your elbows out, okay? You want a full stretch. There you go. Now pin the shoulders down and back here. Rotate them down and back. Keep this active, now pull. Open the scaps up. There you go. Chest up. Yep. You want the back to open up first and then the arms last. Force that chest up at the very end of that extension. You should feel a pull right between those shoulder blades. That's where you want the tension. Make it work. Think about the scapulas opening up and you're squeezing them back in together as you come back for the contraction. So 
So we're here, and we pull those shoulders down and back. You see that movement right here? I'm up my shoulders, up my traps. I'm gonna roll my shoulder blades down and back. Okay. I'm, my latch is still completely stretched right here, but my middle and my back, those rhomboids and lower traps are engaged. I can feel the tension. So I'm here, this is my ending position. So I'm gonna squeeze through, chest up. I'm keeping it here. I'm not allowing that to happen. The moment that happens, you're losing, the, you're losing it. We gotta keep it here, even on that extension. Here, see how my back's opening first? Now my elbows. Whew. Whew. Last set. I'm a little heavier here. I've been trying to take longer breaks in between my sets because it's necessary with recovery. You're not gonna be as strong throughout your workout if you're not allowing proper rest between your sets. This is gonna be a heavier set. I'm gonna sacrifice my form a little bit. I'm just gonna try and stay as strict as I can on the negatives to really keep those muscles engaged. Up, let's go. Up, two, two, go. That was heavy. When you're here, I want you to lock those shoulders down and back like we did in, that, in, that, in the rolling exercise. Get that mid-back active. So have the bar here. You're gonna squeeze back. This is where you, you need to feel that contraction. Keep it engaged as you come down. From here, let the, keeping the shoulders and the mid-back engaged, let the lat stretch and you're gonna pull right to your sides. Elbows tight and we're gonna squeeze right here. I'm nine weeks out. You got plenty of time. You look great already. Yeah, first gym I ever signed up to back in sixth grade. Okay. Was floor gym. So this is pretty much my stopping ground. You know? Yeah, dude. Well, let's get a workout together. Let's do no, this video. Thanks, yeah. man. I appreciate it. That was your side. Right there. Up. Up. All right, we're going to be finishing off our back workout with some cable pullovers. Get off the rack. I'm gonna find my balance. I'm gonna lean on this weight here. If I were to let go, I'd fall flat on my face. So I'm right here. My shoulders are up. I'm gonna lock them down and back. Core is nice and tight. Shoulders down, chest up. And my elbows are gonna come in into my side. Squeezing that back nice and tight. Elbows in, shoulders down, chest up. Lower trap, lower trap, lower trap, lower trap. Squeeze through, core tight. Elbows in, chest up, elbows in. Lower trap, lower trap. Drag. And of all back exercises, besides bent over rows, I feel this one the most. Make sure you guys are sipping on your BCAs during your workout, drinking a lot of water in between your sets. It's really easy to flatten out and lose your pump if you guys get dehydrated, so it's very important to be drinking water in between sets. The outer part of the hamstring. So we go to duck stance. Again, I want your weight balanced. Don't be all on your heels. Because when you're on your heels, you're gonna push your, your weight back too much. Okay, you're gonna be putting too much pressure on the back. Balance yourself, keep your chest over, and make sure the hamstrings are doing the work. So it's not pushing back this way, it's stretching the hamstring as you come down. All right, you guys, last exercise of the day. We've been at it for a while. We've already been in for almost two hours. So we're gonna finish up with lying hamstring curls. We're gonna push our intensity. We only did two exercises for hamstring, so we really gotta make sure we're putting a lot of work on this last exercise, force the blood in there, get a great pump, and really finish them off. We wanna make sure we're putting our feet a little closer in on this one. The closer your stance is, you'll be working a little more of that outer hamstring. 
If you turn your toes out, it's also gonna help target the outer hamstring a little bit more. We're gonna do five, the first five reps, we're gonna hold the contraction for two seconds with a three second negative, followed by five regular reps. Right, one, two. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. I had to tap you guys. I thought I'd do one more. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Back and hamstrings are finished. Had a great workout with my client Cynthia and my wife Stacy. Cynthia, two weeks out from North Americans in Pittsburgh, going for our second attempt this year in a pro card. How are you feeling right now? I'm hungry. She's hungry. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next week.